Hi all, I thought I'd do a quick little video involving these. Now, <clears throat> I'm diabetic, I'm also lactose intolerant, and I've probably got a little bit of IBS in the mix as well. So I have to have certain things in my diet. Uh, an ordinary cow's milk and so forth is just out of the question. So I thought, when I saw these on offer in this, my local Sainsbury's, that I would actually try them. So I've got coconut, cashew, and soya. And I'm going to take a taste of all three and tell you which one I personally prefer. And uh, hopefully this will help others who may stumble across this video and, uh, you know, have similar dietary requirements. But uh, just keep in mind this is going to be my opinion. And no, this is not a product placement or anything like that. I bought this with my own money. Not being sponsored. Sometimes I wish I would be though, but... I don't have enough subscribers for that, so I'm going to, anyway, I'm going to start with the soya. It just smells a bit like custard. It smells quite nice actually. That is actually pretty damn good. I didn't, honestly, I didn't think I was actually going to like that one. But, um, that one gets a thumbs up. I've got to remember to put these in the fridge. Cool. That would be great. I've actually got a suggestion on here for cereals. That would actually be a good one. A good alternative for, um, cereals. Right. I'm sort of looking in the top here, that looks grey. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have much in the way of a smell to it. Like I said, that one's got the soya one. It's got quite a custardy smell to it. I could pr I'll probably end up drinking that tonight now. Sort of a nutty smell to it, but then again I suppose it would be. <laughs> it's made out of nuts. bad but at the moment the soya one is winning although this one is low in sugars so if you're diabetic this will be a good one for you These have a long date on them as well. It's the 18th today. And these go all the way through to the 19th of next month. Right. The last one. So apparently this has got a refreshing taste. This one will be even better because apparently this has got no added sugars. Does it actually have any natural sugars in it? Probably does. Only 1.9 grams though, per 100 mil. What is this one? I can't remember. It says 100 mil there, but... Lactose, nil. Let's double check these ones. Oh, well that one says lactose, zero grams. And lactose nips. Why is the cashew one saying zero grams? Why don't that just say nil? Like these ones. It's all made by the same company as well, if you didn't notice. 
Whoa. Obviously it smells of coconut. Stands to reason as this one is the coconut one. So I'm going to guess it's going to taste like coconut. It is good if you like coconuts. With rice. Mm. It's not a bad one either, but I think I think my vote is going to have to be for the soya. The soya, then the cashew, and this one is actually last. I don't know why, I'm just not so keen on that. I thought I would be because I actually do like... This has surprised me because what I thought I would like and wouldn't like is actually the total total opposite now because uh, I didn't think I was going to like the soya but I actually like that one the most and I thought I was going to like the coconut the most but it actually turns out I like it the least <laughs> so they're completely the opposite but yeah that soya one is actually brilliant I love it I don't know what sugars are in it though well, it says low in sugars. Uh, I still haven't found where it says how much is in a cum. The sugars are 2.5 grams per 100 mil. Oh, used within five days of opening. Well, I usually go by if it still smells good, it's good enough to drink. <laughs> oh, it's a litre. It's right up the top here on the corner. So I've got a litre. I don't think I could actually drink a lot of these in one go, because they, they do come across a bit sickly. But, uh, this one, it really does smell of custard. That nearly went down the wrong hole. <laughs> yeah. The soya one wins. I think as a replacement for hot drinks and cereals, that would probably be the better choice. You could certainly make a very creamy tasting tea or a coffee with that. But uh, anyway, I better get these back in the fridge before they do go off. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video somewhat useful. I think I've just found another alternative to milks, because I was using the um, Arla lacto-free. Well, I think I might actually go for the Alpro one, though, because it's about the same price anyway, to be honest. Same price, same one litre can, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.